police out looking for a missing 13 year old girl. Sky Fox over the scene just a we want her home and we will do anything to to bring her back home. We don't know where she can be. We're scared. We just want her home. Are you, in a sense, blaming yourself? Uh, today, we're announcing that uh, Stephen Stearns has been indicted by the grand jury on first degree murder. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, where we cover true crime mystery to the missing. If you're not familiar with the Madeline Soto case, I would check out this video first. Link is in the top right hand corner and also in the description down below. Stephen Stearns is the man accused of killing 13 year old Madeline Soto, who went missing on February 28th. But after finding her body on March 1st and arresting Stephen Stearns, the public was shocked to hear that Stephen Stearns was not being charged with her murder, but was slapped with 60 charges of really terrible stuff that included child harm against Madeline Soto and much more, but no murder charges. The public felt that perhaps this would come after the arrest of the mother, Jennifer Soto, who many felt like she had some kind of hand in this. But even though she had clearly lied about seeing Madeline getting dressed that morning, she has not been arrested. Rumor and speculation has it that Jennifer Soto has removed herself from the spotlight and is cooperating with law enforcement. Stephen Stearns, who was scheduled to appear in court earlier today, had his hearing canceled at the last minute. Unknown to the public at the time, but new reports claim Stephen Stearns is now being charged with Madeline Soto's murder. This perhaps is why his hearing was rescheduled for later this year. Along with the new charges, local law enforcement held a press conference in regards to the Madeline Soto case, and here were the highlights. I know the community and the media have been anxious for us to give an update on this case, um, and this is an opportunity for us to do that. For the last seven weeks, uh, seven and a half weeks actually, the Consumer Peace Department and my office have been working closely to uh, go over every piece of evidence that we could gather in this case. Um, it, it was a voluminous um, and a lot of evidence to get through during that time, but we were successful in getting through it uh, and making sure that we were able to provide, provide uh, the best case we could. Uh, today we're announcing that uh, Stephen Stearns has been indicted by the grand jury on first degree murder uh, for the killing of Madeline Soto. Uh, while death, and death investigations usually take around five to six weeks or longer, uh, we were able to get this one done relatively quickly and get the case to the front of the grand jury, like I said earlier today, to return the indictment against Mr. Stephen Stearns. <clears throat> the death penalty in this case, uh, we have not decided to like what decision we're going to make in that case. Uh, we're going to continue those discussions going forward, and we'll let you know again uh, when we make that decision as to whether we're going to seek the death penalty in this case. We know this case has gained significant public attention because Madeline had just celebrated her 13th birthday and was just a child. The evidence shows an individual that was entrusted to keep Madeline safe made calculated moves to dispose Madeline's belongings and place her body in a wooded area before she was ever reported missing. For the four days following her disappearance, the entire community was actively looking to find Madeline safe and alive. Tragically, on March 1st, Madeline's remains were found. Our detectives have worked tirelessly to piece together the events leading up to Madeline's disappearance and death. With the collaboration of the state's attorney's office, we prepared the case for the grand jury that was heard today. The grand jury determined that our department secured enough evidence to obtain a first degree murder indictment. We appreciate each grand jury member for their careful consideration. Attorney. Good afternoon. Although an indictment has been returned this afternoon, it is still an open and ongoing criminal investigation. So much of this information cannot be disclosed until Mr. Stern's attorney, if he does so, elects to participate in discovery, and then all of you in the media know how to go about seeking information through public records. Was there anyone else in the house Not that we've uncovered. State attorney? Again, all questions about the facts of the case are not subject to disclosure because of public records laws at this time. 
Once his attorney participates in discovery, then you can make public records requests through your normal channels as you do in other cases. At this time, the only person being charged is Stefan Stearns. And again, this is not over. There is an ongoing investigation to un uncover more evidence, and therefore we can't comment. So with any death case that uh, is reviewed by my office, uh, when it's determined to be a homicide, uh, we have to look at the statutory aggravating factors that are laid out in our Florida law. Uh, but once we've determined uh, that we have sufficient evidence to prove those factors uh, to the proper evidentiary standard, uh, then we have to have to talk about whether this is a death penalty case. And that's a discussion that we're still going to be having for the next couple of weeks to make sure that we're making a legal decision that's appropriate in this case. Cannot comment on whether Mr. Stearns has been doing anything. He has counsel. Um, and as far as plea offers, no, there are no plea offers made on the open case. Once his attorney participates in discovery, the public records laws change, and you all will be able to get a lot of that information. As far as the 60 counts that are already filed against Mr. Stearns, that is solely involving Mr. Stearns as a defendant. It's an ongoing investigation. Can't comment on who's working with us. So thank you all so much for coming out today. If you need this gentleman's name, it is Will J. W. I. L. We will continue to report on this case when new information comes out. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Smash that like button. Consider subscribing to this channel. And thank you so much.